Hi guys, it's Anna here, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great Labor Day and a great weekend. And if you're back at school or you're going, or you're not in school, I hope you had a great week. And uh, yeah, so today we're having. I'm doing my August favorites, and so I have three makeup products. One is kind of kind of makeup y, it's a lotion, a um, couple food items, and then I have a couple of not so favorites. So let's get started. Okay, so my first thing is, oops, I forgot to get one out. Oh well. Um, yeah. So my first thing is the Essence Clear Brow and Lashes Mascara. Um, ew. So apparently my mascara did get on it, but this is supposed to um, help hold your brows and your eyelashes so they don't go everywhere or anything. So I'm sorry the bottle is really nasty looking. I didn't realize that it's so gross looking, but this is what it looks like. And I'm sorry the brush is dirty too. I can't get it clean because of the color I use on my eyebrows stand tend to stick to. I use this mostly on my eyebrows, not so much on my um, eyelashes, just because mascara, once you put it on, your eyelashes aren't really going to go anywhere anyways. So my next product, which it is still messy too, I'm not sure, I understand why my mascara is all messy. But I got this in my August Ipsy bag, and it's the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara in Bigger, Blacker, and Batter. This is what it looks like. And I really like this, um, sorry. <laughs> I really like this mascara because it makes your lashes look really big. And I have really long lashes, so that helps to push them up more. But, um, and it stays on all day, and it's a lot easier to get off than my other mascara, which was Calvin Klein that I got from, um, Ulta for my birthday, so, yeah. anyways, this is what the brush looks like, and I'm not a big fan of this brush just because, um, it's really hard to do your bottom lashes because it gets everywhere, and I'm not the most gentle. Um, I rather get my makeup over and done with, especially during um, school days when I'm in a rush to get everything done. So, okay, so the next thing I have is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and I'm not sure. This is a fair light, and this is the new product. And I noticed a lot of YouTubers talk about this product. I'm like, oh, I gotta have it just to try it or anything, even though I'm only 21 and I don't need to rewind back to when I'm 11 or something. So, um, this is for the dark spot eraser. And I picked up the other one, and I seen this one at the same time, and I'm like, I'm gonna try this one first. So this is what it is. It's a small. It's a lot smaller than the other one. And then you have a little sponge applicator. I guess I'm do it this way. And you just turn it, and then I do it underneath my eye, and do it like in a V, and then put my brush, my foundation brush. You need to pat it in or rub it in. It just depends what kind of foundation I'm using that day. So, the next thing I have is, oh, one product, it's a Citrus Orchard Chill Body Lotion by Bath and Body Works, and I haven't used this product a whole lot, even, you probably have why is it your lock's favorite if you haven't used it a lot. Well, for one thing, the smell is amazing, <laughs> and when I have used this product, um, I absolutely love it, it makes your skin feel so smooth, and I just, love it. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a pinky, pinkish color. Pinky. Pinky in the brain. But it has a strong, strongish kind of smell. So if you don't like lotion that is 
strong smelling after you put it on, then I would not recommend this product. But like I said, when I do use this product, it's amazing. So, okay, the next thing I have is um, food. Yeah, so. Yeah, next thing I have is food. It's Emerald Breakfast on a Go Berry Nut Blend. And I just love this stuff. It's absolutely amazing. It's got, um, see if I can read it. Vanilla granola, which is rolled oats. Okay, I don't need to read all that. Might take me a minute to figure this out. Um, yogurt covered, um, raisins. It's got a lot of, like, nuts in it and... Um, like different berries in it, but I just love this stuff. It's amazing and it's so easy to have for like school and when you're on the go and everything, especially when it's on the go. And I don't eat it for breakfast, just yeah, but it's amazing. I used to like this product and I completely forgot about it. And one of my friends took it with us on a school trip, and I'm like, I know I've seen that product before, but I don't remember it. Until she gave, let me have some, and I'm like, I have to buy some more. So, yeah. So, the next thing I have is Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp Dark Chocolate Crunch. And I noticed a lot of people who get um, subscription boxes get this product. And I've never seen it in any other stores in my town until um, about this month, past month, basically. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it and see. At first, when I took a bite, I'm like, uh, it's not the greatest, but then once you eat it, more of it, you're like, I need to have more bag. And so, like, this is a four ounces, and there's just not enough in here. So, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the whole package or not. But this stuff is amazing. And I usually don't like dark chocolate. And it didn't really taste like dark chocolate to me. It tasted more like milk chocolate. So, yeah. Okay, so the next three items I have is my natural favorites. The ones I didn't, like, really care about. And all these products are uh, first time I've ever used them. Except for one of them, I've had new stuff in the same brand, but just not this product. So, first one I have is Peace Tea. It's Texas style sweet tea. And I'm really picky on my sweet tea. And it's just because I'm, yeah, I'm just picky. I don't like it when it tastes fake or anything, and it tastes more fake to me. So, yeah, it's not my favorite. And it's not something I want to buy ever again. The next thing I have is So Fresh, So Clean Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And I am having such a hard time finding um, makeup remover towelettes that will take off your makeup really well and have a um, towelette that I don't have to keep wetting to get my makeup off. And my makeup is not that hard to get off at all. but Every time I find a new brand, it's just, I can never find one that um, I don't have to wet first before I take off my makeup. And it's just kind of annoying because if you're on a go, like let's say you're on a school trip, you don't have water or anything, you're not going to be able to get your makeup off really that well. Like, um, I used to go in the summer with my dad because he's a truck driver, and you don't really have... Um, a bathroom or anything well you don't have unless you have a sleeper so if you know what I'm talking about um, you basically have to use bottled water and that's not easiest way anyways I'm rambling I'm sorry guys but yeah I don't this product I didn't really care for it just because I have to keep wetting it to get my makeup off and I bought another makeup remover yesterday, and it's to say yes, blueberry cleansing towelettes, and it takes off my makeup really well, but um, I actually had a allergic reaction to it, and I noticed when I went to their Facebook page that a lot of people are having allergic reaction to their product, and I was really disappointed because one of my friends are always talking about their makeup. 
tell lights and everything, and I'm just like, I want to try it, and I'm really sad that I had a reaction to it. And around me by reaction, I mean, my face got really red and really hot and everything, and it's not like, I heard some people actually got a rash, rash from it, and that's really disappointing. So, anyways, the next, the last product I have that I do not like at all is a Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I don't remember if I talked about this in a video already. I'm sorry, I'm itching. Just think about my face being itchy makes my head itch and everything. And I don't, like I said, I don't remember if I've already talked about this product, but I didn't like it. I'm pretty sure I did on my July favorites. So if I did, I'm really sorry. But anyways, I really do not like this product at all. And, um... Yeah, it's just, it just doesn't set us up enough, and it's just, I don't know, I just don't like it, and I'm disappointed because um, I really like their dry shampoo and their texturizing, wavy, what is that called? Like the wave spray when you crunch up your hair, I'm sorry, if I, I can't think of it right now, but um, yeah, I don't like this at all. And it just, it smells good, but, by the way, I didn't buy these. I got these from Influencer. And if you don't know what Influencer is, um, I had a video, I think, back in July, where I talked about what Influencer is, and the box I got that was, had these in it. So, yeah, anyways. Um, that's all of my August favorites I have. Except for one, which is the Claire's Matte Top Coat, and I just love this stuff so much, and I will show you my nails, because they look horrible right now, and it's, the matte is kind of off of it, I think. Yeah, basically it's off. So, it's just a clear nail polish, and you put it on your um, nail polish, on top of your nail polish after it's dried and everything, and it just gives it a matte look and I absolutely love it because I was telling my friend a couple of months ago that I really wanted to buy the black matte um, nail polish and she's like well why don't you just get a matte top coat and I'm like I really don't want to get that because with me top coats hate me I just they hate me they just take off my nail polish and everything else I'm like no I don't want to get that because I know it's not going to work well they had um, the Claire's one on sale, and I think it was regular $5.99, and I got it for $1.10 or something like that. So I was like, okay, I'll get it, just try it out. I mean, if it doesn't work, I wasted $1.10. That's not like I spent $6 on it and wasted $6. And I just love it. It just makes you nails look dull and my mom's like why would you want that why would you want your nails to look dull but sometimes I just don't want all that shininess and I just love it so say I'm rambling again so anyways um I was gonna do a Ulta haul that I got yesterday and I was like uh, I don't want to dig all the products back out cause I wanted to get this video done and I'm like uh oh well Maybe I'll do it next week for you guys. And I'm sorry this video is a day late just because I've been busy this weekend and everything. So I will show you guys what I got for a couple of props for a cup. Not really an upcoming photo shoot, it's just something I got just in case I can use it. So first thing I got is a movie clapboard. This is what it looks like. And I think it's neat, just something you can use for like if somebody's in acting or whatever. And next thing I have is wooden ABC and one, two, three blocks. And it came in like a little wagon or whatever, say. And I've been looking for these forever just because. I didn't want to buy a couple of blocks and pay three or four dollars a block. And they had these at TJ Maxx for ten dollars. 
And I say it's like about 15 but I know I've seen the blocks like these for like 30 some dollars. And I'm not paying 30 some dollars just for wind blocks. So, yeah, I got these. And, yeah, they're both going to be used for like maybe newborn, maternity pictures, or something like that. So, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling for tonight. And I'll just bug you guys next week. So, um... If you have any questions or suggestions on makeup wipes that I can get that are really well, just know, like this brand, I don't want again. And I've used Equate, which Equate is pretty good, but it's the same thing, you have to keep wetting them. And I don't remember what other ones I've had. Oh, Neutrogena, which is the same thing again. Maybe is it just always like that? Do you have to keep wiping? wet them or something. I don't remember ever seeing that. Yeah, it doesn't say to wet them. I mean, it's not that I keep the thing open because I don't. I close it every single time and they're just dry. The very first one is dry. So, yeah. Sorry. Anyways, if you have any questions or anything, just leave a comment below and I hope you subscribe to my channel and give my Facebook page a like uh, my photography Facebook page. I haven't started a YouTube or blog one yet. And check out my Instagram and my blog. And I hope you all have a good week and have a good night. Bye!